So there's a secret room that you can access if you've collected all of the color gem and this can be located in toxic tunnels which is one of the really late levels. This secret room is a must have as it is where the hidden gem for that level will be. The problem is that it is a really tough area to beat. Plus, there are no checkpoints, so you will need to start all over again if you die. Fortunately, this video is about to make your life so much easier as I will be showing you step by step on the right way to beat the secret path and get the hidden gem that hides within it. Hey there, it's the Viperian here and welcome back to another Crash Bandicoot 4 tips and tricks. As I said, this secret door can only be opened if you've collected all the 4 color gems. So if you haven't been able to find them yet, I have a video on the top right here to show you exactly where they are. So you can hit on there first and then come back to this video later on to proceed with the secret area. Now assuming you already have the gem. Perfect, we are now ready to begin the guide. I just want to say to remember to subscribe if you're actually new here for more tips and tricks like this one. You can always unsubscribe anyway if you change your mind. Now the door will automatically open the moment you go near it and the way there is actually pretty simple so just casually make your way deep inside and step into the green platform to begin the first trial. Now the first stage is the green path. Not really too hard yet but there's a really tricky spot up front that can be made much easier. Start off by swinging your way across and then jump behind this rat and get rid of it. Be careful of the electricity that comes out from this swinging pole so don't rush and just time it right. Now this spot seems tricky but it's actually really simple. All you need to do is to slide and then hold crouch till you reach to the end you will find that you are able to stand up at the end and be fully safe and sound. Slide jump onto the right and then onto the left to get the crates. Moving on, we have another electric pole, pretty easy to get through. And then just simply destroy the crates and slide all the way to the other side to get across it. Get rid of the bug on the left side and make your way up by bouncing on the TNTs. Once up here, wait till both of these are positioned this way and jump your way across. Wait for the pole and then grab onto it from the top side, right about here. Slide your way down but not too low and then jump before the pole swims back and emit electricity. Congrats, you are now done with the first path. Moving on to the second path, the red jam. This one is slightly trickier due to the timing you need to keep in mind. Break the crate on the first platform that comes and then easily make your way to the second one. You have to time your jump on the TNT or else you'll fall off when the platform moves. Immediately jump on the TNT crate once the platform stops and once the timer reaches zero, slide jump to whichever the direction the platform is moving to avoid the explosion. For my case, it's the front side. Do note that this is my method and what works for me, but this can be done however you want. Move on to the third platform and kill the rat from behind. And then the moment this wall running thing actually comes up, that is when you want to use it as soon as possible. And then remember to double jump at the very end to avoid the nitro crates. Now this part is actually easy easier than it seems. It just looks confusing. All you need to do is to make your way onto the first railroad, wait for an opening on the other side and then make your way there. The key here on the second railway is that you are able to jump above the enemies with a simple double jump. So don't worry and just do that whenever you need it. Remember to jump on this arrow crate to get the additional crates here on the left side. This part is possibly the hardest one so far as you really need to time your wall run at the precise timing or you will get shocked at the very end here. I highly suggest to wait till it reaches to about here and then immediately run and jump and then jump off the last wall as soon as you can. This way, you are able to make sure you won't get electrified at the third wall. There you go, only two more paths. But don't celebrate yet as the yellow one is the hardest one of them all. Once you're in, you are met with the platforms that will have fire spewing out of them. You will need to move as fast as you can. Just do what I do. Wait till it aligns like this and then jump on the first platform. Immediately jump on the second platform with a slight double jump or a crouch double jump. Quickly slide jump to the next point. Then do the same, slide jump onto the second platform. Immediately wait for the pole to come towards you and then jump off and hang on before the fire comes out. Careful not to hang too low as there are traps there. Get rid of the red on the other side but don't stick too close to avoid the explosion from the nitro crates. Move forward onto the pole, then get rid of the rat on the lower platform and then move on to the second platform. Do note that these platforms does not have fire coming out of them so you can stay on them for as long as you like. Now this part is where timing is everything. One mistake and you're gonna need to start all over again. You wanna get across but you wanna get the TNT at the same time and I highly suggest to wait till this specific moment where the pole is on its way towards you and the thing that you're on is moving upwards. Now once the pole is out of electricity, do this extremely quick movement. 
slide jump off forward and aim to step on the TNT. After that, immediately slide back to where you came from on the TNT, but this time far enough so you can grab the pole the moment it's actually safe. This takes a lot of patience and skill to pull off, so just take a deep breath, wait till the opportunity presents itself and then take action. Make your way towards to the right side and careful that this spits fire as well, spin a craze to blow up the TNTs. After that, this is where you will feel your life flashing before your eyes. Wait till the exact moment the crate reaches below, then tap the jump button to do a small hop to the other side, as you really need to get to the other side as fast as you can. Now on my way out here, I actually did a small mistake. As you can see, I jumped after the crate is in the air, so I was actually lucky to have Aku Aku with me, but at least now you know the exact timing to look out for. The rest of the secret gem path is pretty straightforward and easy, as the blue gem is the easiest one of them all. All you need to do is to stand on a card and think of what the hell you've just been through. Just remember to jump off at the very end or all of those was for nothing. And there you have it, the clear gem for toxic waste. Personally, I died like 50 times here alone, so don't feel bad if this is too hard for you. And by the way, comment down below, is Crash Bandicoot 4 too hard for you? I would love to read your comments. So if you actually like this guide and want to see more, do check out my channel and why not subscribe for more tips and tricks like this one. Again, you can always change your mind in the future if you want to. A quick thanks to the supporters of the channel, you guys are amazing. Oh, and if you want to find all the other colored gems as well, click on the video you see on the left side here or you can click the one on the right for the easiest and best way to get the blue gem as the blue gem is actually the hardest one to get among all of them this is the viper signing off thanks for watching and i'll see you in that video